Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another DK Custom Products video. My name's Kevin, this is Dwayne, and today we're going to do a follow-up on sump plugs for the M8 Milwaukee 8 engine. So a while back we did a video on replacing the sump plug in my uh, 2019 Milwaukee 8. We'll put that video up in the corner. I was starting to sump. So we had two more M8s here at the shop. Yeah. Dwayne's 2018 yeah. Deluxe <laughs> and Nathan's 2020 Rogue Glide. And we just did, uh, pulled the sump plugs on those and replaced them with the shorty sump plug. So yeah, we uh, determined Kevin's 2019 had started to sump, which really got me to thinking, well, I have an 18. The first of the M8s, and, uh, or one, among the first of the M8s in which, you know, had a, were prone to sumping. And so uh, we pulled my bike in, we drained it out, and according to fueling, which they do provide the shorter sump plug, that as long as your M8, where you pull the sump plug, drains out four to eight ounces, that's a healthy range. That's fine. So as long as it's not over eight ounces, your crank's not swimming in oil, it's not fighting to get through, it's not like trying to run through water. It's and not sumping. It's not sumping, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll pull a photo up here showing this little galleyway in your sump that, you know, the longer plug impedes flow and it, it doesn't do, do the oil pump any favors in scavenging that oil out. So a lot of times if it's not scavenging enough out, you start to sump. You have over eight ounces in there and you know, you have issues. So the shorter sump plug, you know, you know, it, it prevents that or it helps to prevent something. It doesn't, it, it, if the oil pump's bad, the oil pump's bad. But if the oil pump's good, but it's, but the scavenging That's port right. is being partially blocked by the plug, then maybe the oil pump can overcome that blockage and maybe yeah. it can. Yeah, yeah. And of course, this is a product made by fueling, but as you guys know, Kevin and I, or any of us here at DK, we don't sell anything we wouldn't run on our own bikes. So in my mind, this is just peace of mind. You know, at least I have something in there that may or may, there's something in there that may prevent something, you know, until I can upgrade that oil pump. So then we did Nathan's bike and Nathan's bike was six and a half ounces. Yeah. And uh, you can see it here. And then uh, your bike was like six and a quarter ounces. Right. My bike was right up at 12 ounces. <laughs> yeah which anything over eight is a problem. That's right, that's right. So we both installed the shorty sump plug. It's a very easy installation. You know, I'm not sure why anybody would not feel comfortable doing it. Uh, you just, you know, obviously it's a quarter inch Allen wrench. You pull the OEM long sump plug out, measure how much fluid comes out. Hopefully you're within the healthy range and then you reinstall the shorter sump plug. Now, when you reinstall that, there's a couple things you wanna do. Uh, one is Teflon tape. You know, that's a, uh, it's a pipe thread and you don't want any seepage. You don't want any drips or leaks. So Teflon tape. And if you want to take that a step further, you could apply the 545 Loctite or thread locker, which we just did the Teflon tape on my bike and Nathan's bike. And then of course you, uh, you don't over tighten it. That's the most crucial right. part. You don't want to split it's a case. an MPT thread and you it gets tighter and tighter. You don't want to yeah. make a mistake and over tighten it. Just one and a half to two and a half full revolutions by hand or with an Allen wrench carefully. That's, that's it. It's that's that it. Yep. So, so we've, in the last uh, three weeks, we've tested three bikes. Uh, and of course they did the new oil pump in 2020. Yeah. And that's Nathan's bike. And then our, both of our bikes are the old oil, older versions yeah. of the oil pump. Yours wasn't starting to sump. Mine was, they all have the new shorty sump plug in there. So if you have any questions, shoot us an email or leave us a comment. We love comments. You can find a link to this product in the description below. Y'all ride safe out there.